Um, I got started in the industry because I used to make um, so-called Quake levels. I made levels for an existing game and I gave them away for free on the internet. And I built up a portfolio and in, in the end I got noticed by a company owned by Douglas Adams. Um, and they liked what I did and they gave me a job as a level designer uh, at Covent Garden, working on Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy, which was great. And I thought all games companies were like that. Really hip, Covent Garden, a famous writer, and uh, later I found out that wasn't the case. Probably a game called Doom by id Software. Uh, it's where I really did a lot of level design work for myself and, and for friends, etc. And uh, one of their later games kind of linked into that, I already mentioned, um, Quake. Um, and the reason why it was so influential is uh, they released free tools that allowed me to create new levels for the game and share them with friends and that was just fantastic because for the first time the internet got into play and you could give levels to other players and that was it and once you could do that and suddenly you could make a name around the world rather than uh, beaver away in your little corner somewhere I was in the Netherlands you know there's no games industry in the Netherlands but I could share these levels with people from all over the world and play them in the middle of the night and learn how to become really good at this stuff and that's what I've done for a few years until, like I said, I had a portfolio good enough to work in London. I think it's uh, you find your passion. Uh, it's really important that you uh, make a game you want to make because once you have that, you can find the energy that you then need to work all the extra hours that you need to work, find time after your day job or around your family or whatever your restrictions are. Because generally there are a lot of restrictions. You have to earn a living or uh, other responsibilities that you have. But if you find something you're really passionate about, then you can do all. Of, you know, you can do something with that. And uh, the other thing is uh, not to uh, try to do something too big. You know, do some research. There are free tools everywhere now, and you can make uh, uh, games quite easily. But you do have to be realistic about what you can achieve. But then use that as an advantage. So, if you can make something minimalist or something where the graphics are not that important, but the gameplay is, just a way so you can make something with very little resources, then you should be able to do something.